Uh, Max Fried, he, again, tremendous last night. Yeah. So uh, Max has shown repeatedly. I know last year he had a hamstring injury that kind of curtailed some innings on him. But I, I watch what Max Fried's been able to do for the last few years, really. 17 wins a few years ago before the COVID season. Um, why I like a guy like Max is I like the big curveball still, Cliffy. I do. We, we marvel over the 97, 98, 99s as we just saw with uh, what went on in Tampa Bay last night near no hitter in Garrett Cole. But when I see a guy that has big curveball, can spin the baseball, there's a speed variation of a good plus quality fastball that Max Fried has. And kind of to the Teoscar Hernandez thing, Cliff, you know, there's a moment for every big leaguer where you either, A, you say, hey, I'm fed up with this, I'm better than that and you go about your business accordingly to be next level and I believe that Max Fried is that the rotation has been better no question about it Kyle Wright has kind of turned his thing around uh, uh, Ian Anderson had a good one I mean what do you say uh, Spencer Strider has been excellent right. but this guy lefty slider curve occasional change up he'll elevate his high fastball there's two different breaking balls as we're showing here um, uh, the, the hard slider but and then the change up so he turns it over and he doesn't just throw it to the right hand about He'll throw it to the lefties. So there's so many different looks, but the ability for him to spin what looks like a 1 o'clock to 7 o'clock on the clock curveball that has about a 12 to 14 mile an hour speed variation. So now you you, you got to respect this because he's averaging, he averages, uh, he'll touch, actually this year, Cliff, he, he's touched 100 miles an hour. Yeah. So he took 94.5, slider at 87, and his curveball's at 74. So with that, you have so many different looks, and um, look, I, 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 this is another one that tells you a lot about a guy's quote-unquote stuff, is when hitters are starting to chase pitches out of the zone, as well as in the zone. He's got a high swing yeah. miss rate in the zone of uh, above average. His, his pitches of, uh, of his breaking ball is 18%. League average is at 8%. Uh, doesn't walk anybody. Like, it, there's a lot of check, check, check on him. Yeah. It really is. It's location. I mean, all all those pitches you just show right there, Al, is like for a hitter, you're going, yeah, good luck. You better get him early or something else because when he's hitting his spots, I mean, it's un that's when you, you become unhittable. That's when it's like for a hitter, you're walking by going, all right, what am I going to do next to bat? Because all right, we talked it, about it earlier. and you, you were talking about Trevor Rogers, right? Trevor Rogers is walking almost 12% batters. Mm. The league average is 8%. Right. For major league pitchers, you take it yeah. 8%. Now you have conversely on, on a guy like Max Fried, he's walking 3.1 batters Ooh. per nine. <laughs> wow! So he's in the zone, row flow for 3.1 percent of the of batters. The batters right. Yeah. So that's the, so to that point. So you better be ready. You're, you're ready to hit. Yeah. But then you're saying, well, why I'm not hitting it, <laughs> right? Because that's the difference as a hitter. Like I'm ready to hit, and it's like, but the ball is not where I expect it to be. Yeah. And when he's hitting his spots in on, on, and on the black. That's the toughest pitch for any hitter to yeah. be up there and square up and try to, you know, to, to get a hit.